I think that's a really good point. Did you hear it? She said girls have experienced discrimination, so they have more ambition and drive to succeed. Because they you know they have they, they can't just relax into it. Okay, we said girls are more likely to succeed in and go to university because they're they're better looking, they're more ambitious, they're more patient. Other other ideas? They study harder? No, they are... Oh, steady. Steady, yeah. Yeah. They're more... Just mm. not... Just... Uh, <laughs> they don't get distracted? Not very... Uh, mm. It's only <laughs> at a time. It's <laughs> only <laughs> 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 So... Boys, boys just got a... Got a goal? Then just boys are more impulsive, more maybe? distracted. Or, yeah. or they like Absorbed to absorb some of the some of the things. <laughs> boys like to um, bali bali like finish things or no. <laughs> So women, whether or not they have goals, they, they're diligent and they work steadily. Whereas men, if they suddenly have a goal, they just try to take care of it. Quickly. They get and, distracted. And yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks. Anybody else have an explanation? What about your brothers? What do you notice different about how your brothers approach school? Those of you who have brothers. <laughs> They're pugnacious. They're what? Pugnacious. Pugnacious? Yeah. Pugnacious means. They like to fight. They like to fight, yeah. They ah. enjoy it. Ah. <laughs> so that distracts them from their schoolwork? Yeah, their nature is brutal. Oh, <laughs> nature is brutal, she's saying. Anybody want to defend poor boys? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, she's talking about her younger brother, uh, though. <laughs> he's a specific boy. Yeah. Um, so, let me ask you another question. What, how, in the face of all your schoolwork, do you stay having fun? How do you have fun in the face of so much pressure to study and do homework? And are you usually at school till eleven at night? Ten. 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 Seven. Seven. Eleven thirty and seven just ten. Some at ten. Some at eleven thirty. So, do you mostly have fun on the weekends? Yeah. Or do you just sleep on the weekends? Sleep. 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 <laughs> yeah. Sleep came up a lot in the Korean questions. That's what we do for fun. <laughs> Sleep. Well, Obama praised our education systems. <laughs> Obama uh, oh. praised our e educational system. Well, it's, right. it's certainly. A, so, do you agree with Obama that the <laughs> Korean students heard that Obama's praise? They just think he. Is it crazy? <laughs> wanna wanna make the American students like us? <laughs> and we cannot understand his thinking. Yes. Well, I think maybe he means everybody goes to what eighty five percent go to universities. So the education people get educated. Yes. Some of nations are nation criticize our educational system and some countries praise our educational system. As a student, um, I'm sometimes tired, but I think this educa educational system makes our country strong and more international and more influential in our world. So I agree with this educational system. Mm. Mm. 
I'm wondering if there, I mean, how how effective can you be at studying at 10 o'clock at night? Can you can you learn a lot at 10 o'clock at night? Um, there's there's a expression called studying smart or working smart. So I'm wondering if it's really smart working to spend that much time in front of the books. I don't know the answer to that question. So I'm just raising it. Um, if let me ask you again, if you were the head of Korea right now, this group, and you had absolute power, you could do whatever you wanted. What would would you do anything differently? You're the boss now. Yeah. No. Uh, that <laughs> Help for disabled. It's sad to see the people, the disabled people, on the ground. Especially in Korea, a man. So if he died, <laughs> because I have an uncle who be disabled in sudden, <laughs> so he cannot afford their family, and he died and. <laughs> And their family can earn money, just and the government just give them a. Six hundred thousand won, and they cannot educate well their children, and and the the support money are soft when the children just. Go to high school. The first children go. I first child go to high school. So I want to raise a budget for the disabled people. Yeah. You know, thank you for sharing that. There's a there's a petition for change that's in English, and you can you can if you email me, I'll give you the exact address, and you can write a petition, and then you send it to all your friends. And then it can make a difference. There were some girls in the U.S. who said, why is it that the moderators, the TV announcers who uh, conduct the debates between the presidential candidates, why are they always men? We want to have a, a woman who's the moderator. And they succeeded. So the election committee said, okay, we're going to have Candy Crowley from CNN moderate the next debate. Um, so there's a lot of examples in the U.S. of girls who started petitions and made change. So I think you should start a petition. <laughs> Good. Um, okay.